हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्लासेस बाय लैब डॉक्टर आज के क्लास में वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटेक्शन एंड क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन इन द यूरिन सो ऑल दिस क्लासेस वी हैव सीन व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटीन यूरिया एंड व्हाट इज प्रोटीन यूरिया सो नाउ हाउ डू वी डिटेक्ट दैट देयर इज प्रोटीन इन दिस यूरिन सो देयर आर क्वालिटेटिव एज वेल एज क्वांटिटेटिव टेस्ट क्वालिटेटिव विल ओनली टेल यू दैट द प्रोटीन इज प्रेजेंट और नॉट प्रेजेंट और इट माइट गिव यू अ सेमी क्वांटिटेटिव मेजरमेंट फॉर एग्जांपल योर stick or your 3% sulfur salicylic acid ya your protein electrophoresis ya immuno assay for a uh, specific protein and you have quantitative test which will quantitate the urine proteins like the quantitative test you have the 24 hour urine uh, for uh, total proteins and you have the protein creatinine ratio done on the spot sample commonly done test is is dipstick method and uh, in routine urine examination is done by this uh, reagent strips in majority of the labs but remember this is a semi quantitative way of measuring the proteins and uh, you get the reagent strips like this there are also uh, automatic dedicated machines which are used to read this reagent strips and by which we will be able to comment on the protein concentration in the urine so what is the principle of this reagent strip the reagent area of the strip is coated with an indicator that is tetra bromophenol blue and it is buffered to an acid ph it is buffered at a ph of 3 which changes its color in the presence of protein so the indicator whatever is there it undergoes color changes from yellow to shades of green depending upon the amount of protein that is present this test is sensitive to albumin but it is negative to the benz jones protein hemoglobin globin methemoglobin etc so this is the principle of the detection of protein by reagent strip so when we see the reagent strips and when we uh, compare it so when it is yellow in color we give it as negative and that means if it is negative that means there is less than 10 mg uh, per deciliter the protein content suppose if it becomes as traces it is up to 10 to 20 mg 1 plus means 30 mg 2 plus is 100 mg 3 plus is around 300 mg and 4 plus is around 1000 mg per deciliter advantages is that it is very easily it is done it avoids the false positive reaction with the radiographic contrast and tolbutamide and other drugs so the drawback of this is that it lacks sensitivity uh, to globulins it is more sensitive to albumins sometimes you might get false positive and false negative results also with this reagent strips so false positive results can come when whenever there is a concentrated urine or whenever there is gross hematuria whenever there is a presence of uh, pus or semen or vaginal secretions etc and sometimes you might get a false negative uh, results also when the urine specific gravity is very high or when you have a dilute urine or there are urinary proteins of low molecular weight you might get a false negative result so these are few of the drawbacks of this reagent strip so next would be the sulfur salicylic acid method in this what happens is whatever proteins are there we will denature that proteins with the help of organic acids like sulfur salicylic acid and that when it will precipitate out that is what we measure so this will detect not only albumin it can also detect the hemoglobin myoglobin benz jones protein etc so what is done in this procedure uh, 2 to 3 drops of 3% sulfur salicylic acid is added in 2 ml of uh, urine and we wait for 10 minutes and we see the degree of precipitation so this is graded as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and 4 plus so if it is 4 plus it is more than 1 gram per deciliter this can also give you false positive as well as false negative results next would be heat and acetic acid test in this what is done uh, around 5 to 10 ml of urine is taken and the upper portion is boiled and uh, they we see for the turbidity and when we add 2 to 3 drops of glacial acetic acid suppose if there is disappearance uh, of the turbidity with addition of glacial acetic acid it could be because of phosphates or carbonates etc and uh, suppose if the cloudiness is persistent then it is because of the proteins so this 
this is how we do the um, heat and glacial acetic acid test next is protein electrophoresis so this is a protein electrophoresis where you can see this albumin and the globulins this is alpha beta and gamma globulins protein electrophoresis helps in the differential qualitative assessment of the proteins it helps us to differentiate between albumin as well as globulin so jab albumin rahega to it is mainly because of glomerular proteinuria because 70% of the cases uh, mein ye albumin uh, excrete hote rehta hai when glomerulus is involved and agar globulin aata hai this tells us that it is mainly because of tubular proteinuria kyunki majority of the low molecular uh, weight jo proteins rehte hai wo tubular proteinuria mein excrete hote rehte hai so we can also distinguish between glomerular as well as tubular proteinuria with the help of uh, protein electrophoresis then comes the quantitative method see uh, 24 hour urine protein jo hai jo aap pe hum patient ko 24 hours urine collect karne ke liye bolte hain and uh, us urine mein hum protein ko estimate karte hain this is the gold standard the best test to uh, quantitate kitna protein nikal ke ja raha hai ek uh, one in 24 hours urine mein the disadvantage of this method is that patient ko acha nahi lagta hai 24 hours ek container mein urine pass karne ke liye but in cases of persistent proteinuria agar aapko kisi method se persistently aapko proteinuria mil raha hai ya kahi pe aapko doubt lag raha hai ki iska proteinuria uh, kyun ho raha hai to then the method of choice is this 24 hour urine protein uh, analysis so uh, this is also valid for persistent proteinuria and also in cases of doubtful cases of proteinuria alternative to 24 hour urine protein ke liye hai test that is uh, urine protein creatinine ratio bahut simple test hai ek spot urine mein ho jata hai patient ke liye bhi kuch takleef nahi hota hai and uh, it will also give us the correct results if it is less than 0.2 the protein creatinine ratio agar less than 0.2 aata hai then it is normal so less than 0.2 matlab less than 200 mg per 24 hour us patient ka protein excretion hai so these are the quantitative methods to measure the urinary proteins remember jab bhi humko protein urea ka diagnosis karna hai the first uh, test which we do is urine analysis jab bhi hum laboratory mein jate hain they do a urine analysis is routine and microscopy so they will do a dipstick and then they will uh, find out whether the patient is having a proteinuria so, jab patient ko ye proteinuria aa jata hai to hum directly wo patient ko uh, proteinuria bolke label nahi kar sakte hai we will have to find out ye transient proteinuria hai ki ya persistent proteinuria hai uske liye humko दो तीन सैंपल्स हमको एनालाइज करने पड़ेंगे विद इन अ स्पैन ऑफ फ्यू मंथ्स एंड सी अगर हमको परसिस्टेंटली ये प्रोटीन आ रहा है तो देन वी मेक इट एज परसिस्टेंट प्रोटीन यूरिया या ओनली वन नो सैंपल इज कमिंग पॉजिटिव द रेस्ट ऑफ द सैंपल में प्रोटीन यूरिया नहीं आ रहा है तो इट कुड बी बिकॉज ऑफ अ ट्रांजियंट प्रोटीन यूरिया वो फीवर के वजह से हो सकता है स्ट्रेस के वजह से हो सकता है किसी इन्फेक्शन के वजह से हो सकता है तो वी विल हैव टू क्लासीफाई इट एज ट्रांजियंट और परसिस्टेंट प्रोटीन यूरिया एंड अलोंग विथ इट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वुड बी to do the microscopy also kyunki humko kafi sare hints mil jate hain when we do the urinary microscopy and correlate it with the proteinuria wo hyaline cast ho ya granular cast ho ya the type of rbc so dysmorphic rbcs normal rbcs the kind of cast ye sabhi ko correlate karke we can try and find out what is the cause for proteinuria so the urine microscopic examination examination of the urinary sediment is also important when we try to do a diagnosis of proteinuria suppose humko ek two or more urinary samples mein humko protein milta hai then the next step is humko quantitate karna padega exactly kitna protein nikal raha hai so for that we will require the quantitative test so the most uh, sensitive and the gold standard test is the urinary 24 hour protein test but ye test ka problem 
प्रॉब्लम क्या है इसको 24 फोर आवर्स पेशेंट को यूरिन को एक कैन में पास करना पड़ता है सो so, पेशेंट को प्रेफर नहीं करते हैं एंड इवन फॉर द लेबोरेटरी पर्सनल वो जो सैंपल लेके आएंगे 24 फोर आवर यूरिन का उसको डिस्कार्ड करना है ऑल्सो इज अ प्रॉब्लम सो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द टाइम्स दे डोंट प्रिफर दिस बट दिस इज दी गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड टेस्ट बट अगर पेशेंट को परसिस्टेंटली हर मेथड से आ रहा है यह प्रोटीन यूरिया तो वी द डॉक्टर द नेफ्रोलॉजिस्ट एडवाइज दिस टेस्ट दैट इज 24 फोर आवर यूरिनरी प्रोटीन कहीं पे डाउट है ये प्रोटीन यूरिया किस वजह से हो रहा है सो दैट टाइम ऑल्सो दे ऑर्डर अ 24 फोर आवर यूरिनरी प्रोटीन द अल्टरनेटिव फॉर दिस अगर 24 फोर आवर यूरिनरी प्रोटीन का अल्टरनेटिव है प्रोटीन क्रिएटिन इन रेशियो ये एक रैंडम यूरिन सैंपल में कर सकते हैं स्पॉट यूरिन में कर सकते हैं हमको 24 फोर आवर का यूरिनरी सैंपल नहीं है एंड रिजल्ट भी करेक्ट देते रहता है सो दिस इज एन अल्टरनेटिव फॉर 24 फोर आवर यूरिनरी प्रोटीन सो प्रोटीन यूरिया का डिटेक्शन करना भी एंड क्वांटिटेट करना भी बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है पेशेंट का डायग्नोसिस के लिए एंड पेशेंट को ट्रीट करने के लिए एंड दीज आर दी वेरियस मेथड्स विच वी हैव इन द लेबोरेटरी जो हमको हेल्प करते हैं पेशेंट का प्रोटीन यूरिया डिटेक्ट करने के लिए कितना प्रोटीन निकल रहा है क्वांटिफाई करने के लिए एंड ऑल्सो टू टेल द टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन यूरिया वो ग्लोमेरुलर प्रोटीन यूरिया हो सकता है क्या या तो वो ट्यूबुलर प्रोटीन यूरिया हो सकता है क्या या तो ये ओवरफ्लो प्रोटीन यूरिया हो सकता है क्या सो टू टाइप to grade also the type of protein urea we require all these tests for the management and the treatment and prognosis of the patient so that is all about detection and quantification of protein in the urine by various laboratory tests thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you